Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. So, in the previous episode, we have finished the the Lonesome Road DLC, which was also the fourth and final one. And finishing the DLC opened because we chose to you know to send the nukes to the Legion territory. We it basically opened. The dry wells section of the map. Now, had we chosen to bomb the NCR, let's see, there would be there would have been basically like here yeah, the Mojave outpost. There would have been entrance to another region in the map that has basically like you know that that would basically then be like. A, an NCR territory that has been bombed. But anyway. And well, we're level 50. We have reached a cap. So we have reached the maximum amount of XP. You know, we can't like improve our character anymore, like in terms of like stats. But well, I suppose if we get some more implants. I mean I I guess. We do have high endurance, so we can literally buy every single implant in the game. Hmm. Yeah, that kind of gives me an idea. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. But uh, anyway, like. I think from now on it's pretty much just, you know, like, uh, continue with the main quest. Funny thing is, <laughs> I haven't really decided which way we want to go, like which actual ending we want to work towards now. NCR, well, definitely not Legion, but... It, is it then either NCR, Mr. House, or Independent Vegas? Um, we've been awfully loyal to the NCR. Yes, we could do those. Hmm. That's a. Uh, Let's pull out the good old big mountain trans transport our ponder. Let's go to the sink. <laughs> For all time's sake. Muggy. Well, unfortunately, Muggy, I don't have any mugs for you right now. Oh, there actually would be coffee mugs here. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you like 12 mugs. Come on, Muggy. Myself for asking this, but... Did you bring me any mugs? Uh, yeah, I, I brought you a dozen, but a dozen of them. Oh, sweet, sweet fulfillment. I'll break this down later. Hey, I just gave you. Do you have any electrical components? Yep, there you go. Oop. Cells? Sure. Micro. Nobody wants to hang out with Muggy. I get it. I get it. So long. So long, Pat. Yeah, he's been programmed to be sad, so. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no helping the poor guy. Microfusion cells, huh? 
Mm, let's see. What, what do you think? Huh? Let's uh. Steam pack. Okay, well, well, let's turn this into microfusion cell grenades. Why not? Um, hmm. Well, I don't have any toasters. You know, just going through the motions, let's say. I just sterilize across scissors. Chopper. The doctor's bags. A huge pile of empty syringes. Scalper skin. Oh. Simply put the stim pack there. Surgical tubings. Tweezers, huh? No, 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 no. You don't need tweezers in this forceps, I believe. So. Oh, yeah. It's all, all the medics in here. I'll make some doctor's bags. Why not? Uh. I need six scalpels as well. And six surgical tubings. Make some doctor's bags. There's some fridge. Yeah, I have stuff in there, food items, I mean, naturally. Sounds like sarsaparilla. Oh. Probably should put the sarsaparillas to the sarsaparilla thing. Well. Oh, dirty water too. Um, I have one you could call. Okay, so I can put that away. How much do I have sunset sarsaparilla? Yeah, I can put like five there. Sure. I have one you could call so I can toss it to here. Although. Actually, on the contrary, I'm going to take two, and I'll take like one Nuka-Cola quartz. And uh, what else do I need for, oh yeah, just purify some water. And uh, let's see, what do I need for nuka call nuka grenades? I think. Let's see, recipe for nuka grenade. Oh yeah, I can make a nuka cola quartz. I should do that. I will need that. Gonna have to check the recipe for nuka grenades. I have forgotten. Uh, let's see. A Braxo cleaner, tin can, nuka cola quartz, and turpentine. Okay. <laughs> what do you know? There was exactly two Abraxo cleaners here. Okay. Uh, tin cans. Yeah, I need two of them. And two bottles of turpentine. Now I should be able to make two more nuka grenades. Nice. Alright, and then buy some uh, 
If you're planning to stay a while, I could see clear to giving you a once-over. Rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. I spoke a little more volume. Uh, yeah, I want to uh, install an implant. Yeah. Well, I mean... It's not like I really need this, but okay, so Y3, drinking radiation removed. I mean, we have more than a hundred thousand caps. If you're planning to stay a while, I could see clear to giving you a once over. I want your services, I want an implant, and the Y7 bonus hit points, action points from food. Terrier means. Do you know what that makes you? Well read and erudite. For a communist. <laughs> Sounds like a trick question. Let's see, like a caravan lunch food. points well anyway okay yeah I got these implants so mm. don't want to go to a big mountain nah no need Yeah. Ah, uh, you could also go to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. And just, you know, maybe buy all the rest of the implants. You know, just because I can. Oh yeah, we're not <laughs> we're not getting XP because <laughs> we have maxed out our null levels. Machete. I can use that to fix my current current weapon. Conductor. Hmm. Well, I'll just go to New Vegas Medical Clinic. So, oh, I forgot. I could have uh, made some uh, skill books in Big Mountain and. Let's go back to Big Mountain. Yeah, because we have the recipes. Let's see. I think you need to make a skill book.
Yeah, you need you need two pieces of wonder glue for each one recipe and twenty five blank books. Is three fifty enough to make all the skill books? Well, wonder glue. Well, I'll just take everything and again, recipe wonder glue and just those. Okay, let's make a uh, yeah, Tales of the Junk Down Jerky Vendor book. Yoink. Let's make uh nikola tesla and you book uh explosives let's make uh what's the name of that oh yeah duck and cover guns and bullets tumblers today uh journal of dc medicine of oh, dc journal of Inter oh no no oh, yeah yeah dc journal of internal medicine right uh grognard the barbarian um what was it deans dean re prepare oh D deans electronics yeah Big Book of Science, uh, Chinese military, or Chinese military, Chinese spec up training manual, something like that. Uh, lying congressional style. Uh, obviously, a survival book, uh, a wasteland survival guide. And um, uh, pugilism illustrated. No. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll. Oh, that's broken. Okay, repair is 100, melee is 100. So, but repair and melee, so those are, I don't need those, so we'll. Oh, I had the 25 extra blank books, okay, I didn't need one. Um, and then that's gonna be. Pretty much all the wonder glue, scrap electronics, yeah, they can go there. Uh, I was safe to go put. Uh, yeah, so re repair was maxed out so that. Dean's electronics can go away, and my melee was maxed out, so that can go away. Well, science sneak medicine, uh, explosives. Guns, uh, speech, 
energy weapons uh, unarmed border lockpicking survivor hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna need at least one more lockpicking, at least one more medicine skill book. Think at least okay, one more sneak, one more speech skill book. Oh, I probably have some debuff from addictions, right? Well, I'm sure the order doc can actually fix that department. If you're planning to stay a while. Well, mm Yeah. Look, pick mm, medicine, barter, guns, like, I mean, is there even <laughs> enough of those left? I don't even know. I don't even know. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I know Raul Shack has one guns. Oh, and uh, there's a uh, that 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 uh, Gomorrah has also one gun skill book. Oh, now that I think about it, um, but there's a. Uh, oh, I probably have already taken the. Helios one has one medicine book, but I probably have already taken that. So, hmm, maybe I need to utilize my phone, open the wiki page, and just to see the list of our new vague. Vegas, Vegas skill books. Just to see, you know, if there's some, some things that, at least that I know that I haven't yet taken, a place that I haven't yet been to. Location. So I um, need. Okay, for the gun books, I at least I know where to get those. Uh, let's see. Camp, camp for the stealth book. Camp searchlight. I've taken that. Good springs. I've taken that. Shaker performs. I'm pretty sure I've taken that. Hmm. Sun Tower. Wolf. Wolf 3. Oh, did I? Oh. Ah. So. Oh. 
and I can stuck here and then hmm sandstone tower roof on a bookshelf facing the wall hidden from view on the southeast landing of Acquired by placing or throwing explosives onto the bookshelf on here. Okay, sounds don't flow. Is that the only one that I'm not quite kept? Mm. Place that they so well. If I didn't get that when I was in. In, in in the Sierra Madre then obviously I can't go back Wolf well, 3 oh actually well I did that run on Wolf 3 did I take the skill book no I don't recall going down there so I'm pretty sure I can get that from Wolf 3 okay okay well that's it Wolf 3 I'm just making a plan here, okay, so wall three, that's one, okay, so that should be at least one that is still left. So I should be able to get my you know my sneak skill still sneak skill too. Oh wait, it is one hundred. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, okay, well, well. Okay, so I know for the gun skills. Um, this eternal internal medicine yeah, for medicine skill book. Let's see again. Cave of Abaddon. After exiting the cave of Abaddon in the south corner of the night stand. Okay, well, that's something that. If I don't find anything else, we're well, obviously going to have to uh, prob maybe go back to Cave of Abaddon and let's see, a follower safe house, okay, so if we gain access to followers of the public safe house, you know what, I think if we just donate enough medicine to the followers, I think we can become idolized by them and I think after that we can we could we can get access to the safe house. So I think that's just gonna be that's probably get the safest bet to get a medicine skill book. Yes, there's one in Helios one. I'm not sure if I already took it. Actually, wait. I don't think I've even been inside Helios 1 in this place too, so okay, yeah, that's another place we can get on, so yeah. Hell's Motel, I'm pretty sure we've been there. Novak, Ranger Andes, Bungalow, well, I, I don't think I've taken the one from Ranger Andes room, so yeah, so okay, so plenty of medicine skill books, and I only need one, so that's not going to be an issue. What else do I need? I need a lock picking. Well, I do recall that there is a there is a location I haven't been. I probably haven't been to it. I don't recall going there. So I'm, I know at least one location that has a lock picking skill book. Let's see. No, I don't need duck and cover. My, I'm already. I don't need melee skill books. Guns. Well, okay. Well, I do know. I do know at least two places where to get the gun skill book. So there's one in Raul Shack and one in um one in Gomorra. So right. Let's see.
Okay, so I, I should build more. That, that, two for guns. How about for the barter? That, that's actually now. That also interests me. So tell us. Tales of a junk down jerky vendor. Let's see. Allied Technologies offices. Okay, I haven't been. I do recall. I'm pretty sure I haven't been to these buildings. There's a couple of buildings nearby Camp McCarran where I haven't been to. So, I, yeah, that's definitely one. Cap Counterfeiting Shack. I'm pretty sure we have been there. Um. Prim inside Bison Steve. I'm pretty sure we've taken that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely got it. It's, it's next to the safe where you have Lucky. We have definitely taken that. Vault twenty two. So let's see that Allied Technologies thing. Um. So that's one. Oh. oh, I think I'm all... Oh, mm hmm. Markman Guard Outpost. I have a feeling I have already taken that, so... Let's see. Markman guard outpost located through a cellar door on the eastern wall of the building. I'm pretty sure we went to the cellar and I have a vague recollection that I found that so I think I think unfortunately there's only one more barter skill book left. Uh, so I won't be able to get my barter skill to 100. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn it, damn it. Um, but, yeah, Prim. Unless, oh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure we have that. And one from Cap Counterfeiting. Hmm. Right. Let's see, I'm here. I'm not that far away from the place that should have that. <laughs> right, I'm kind of naked here. Yeah, so unfortunately, we no more levels, so I can't like <laughs> I can't get my barter to one hundred. I mean, obviously, we do have like barter magazines, so I I can't get it temporarily to one hundred, which is just I guess fine. Or if I have like a suit, some kind of some kind of set of clothing, and Benny suit gives plus five to barter. Uh, the, the, the 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 traveling salesman outfit, whatever that is, that's that's gonna give bonuses to barter. So. Hmm. Yeah, fortunately I had to take away my armor.
Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the location I'm thinking of. Yeah. Jet. I'll pick up the stuff on my way out. That's a dead prospector. Who's there? Well, <laughs> again, it's a place that has a star bottle cap. Oh, camera. <laughs> I'll just take everything. Why not? Why not? Let's, uh, let's put on the lights. So, Jackal Gang member. Jackal Gang leader. Oh! Oh, no, 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 it's a metal armor. I don't think I can. I don't think I use any of the, this armor to fix my own. I'm gonna need medium level armor for that. Yeah, there's tumblers today. Lock picking. Lock pick 100. Ammo. Don't need the books, dead prospector. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna get XP for this. But yeah. I am over encumbered. But it's okay. You can just Loot everything on my way out. Hems, ammo, well, flour. Flour is useful for crafting. Reloading bench, little bit of medical supplies. And of course, there's plenty of like corpses to loot outside. Jackal Gang member. Jackal Gang member. Dead Prospector. Dead Prospector. Yeah. Dead Prospector. And since we have the long haul perk, even though we are over encumbered by quite a bit, we can still fast travel. So that is not going to be an issue.
and there's their prospector chat with gang member and another jackal gang member right now we can fast travel to new bank and sort out our inventory because why not <laughs> let's see so we still need to go to board three and we might as well do the little quest for the ncr2 because there's still like the bountiful motor runner. Hmm. Actually, there's a merchant over here. Even though I want to move slowly. I'm going to sell you some things. Hey there. Need anything? I want to sell you. Sure. Here's what I got. Oh, it doesn't have a... He does not have a whole lot of money at the moment, so... I mean, I guess the, the regular knife, it's used for crafting. I mean, you can make those, um... What do you call that? Yeah. Uh, 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 what was it? Blood ritual or something? I, uh, I, I don't recall, but it's uh, weapon binding ritual, yeah, weapon binding ritual. Yeah. It can obviously make you stronger as a melee fighter, so... Right, so... <laughs> uh. Hmm... Maybe I need to craft some... Minigun ammo. Pulse here. Yeah. I think like actual ammo. Yeah. Then crafting materials. Uh, coffee mug. Yeah. Well, I'll keep one. Um, flower. Yeah. Leather belt. When you're trying to kind of keep your stuff organized, it does take a little bit of thought about how to, you know, boxing gloves, yeah. How to kind of arrange your inventory. I'll leave one. One, one machete to fix my own. Cleansing flame. Yeah, my flamethrower. Oh yeah, no. I should probably re-equip that too. I've been, I've been I've had the flare gunners in a fast, in a quick key because 
you know, especially against like the enemies of the divide. Flare gun is actually it's a pretty useful item, I think. Uh, oh yeah, it's probably armor items I can put here. Let's see. Leather armor. Well, I guess these are technically armor, so. Junk mm. box. Well, I guess I could have put could have put camera into the but really would kind of uh, Mm. Yeah. Okay, there's, uh, there's a couple of items I can still put here to poison glands at the camera. Oh, I'm putting the casings to the room one. Well, all right. So the regular clothing items I can put here. Oh, I had the Benny suit here as well. Okay. Um. Handyman jumpsuit and dead money jumpsuit. Head wrap. Oh, that's it's broken. Party hat, cowboy. Some food items I can toss away. Hmm. I guess the dirty water, yeah. One and a stick. Yeah, like lots of clean water I can toss away. Sunset says probably. Oh yeah, I have a large number of doctor's bags, so I'll put some of them away. Like, I put like 10 doctor's bags away. Uh, D. Yeah. Oh, save. All oh, right, yeah, should, uh, hmm. Oh, if I go to Camp McCarran, there ought to be a good chance for me to maybe find some NCR uniforms I can use to fix my armor. So that can stay as it is. Hmm. Huh.
Well, now we are of course slowly, slowly making our way to um, <laughs> more rats. We are slowly, slowly going to start making our way to, to the strip because I do want to get my companions EVE and uh, hmm. Should we go for Mr. House? I mean, of course, we have good relationship with the NCR, certainly. But you know, yeah, you know what? I think we could go with Mr. House in this one. I think in my, my other let's play other New Vegas series on YouTube. I, I went. I did the the yes man thing, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I, I went for the independent Vegas. So maybe with this one we'll go with Mr. House. I mean, yes, we've been kind of a, we've been you know, extremely involved when it comes to NCR matters. We hope at least we have helped them in many, many kind of small things. Hello, partner. I was wondering, have you seen my pants? I seem to have misplaced them. Howdy there, partner. That's a mighty fine guitar you got there. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Have you been playing long? Just about my whole life. Ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. Well, what's your story, stranger? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Nevertheless, I'm interested. In fact, I'm a bit of a, you know, lonesome wanderer myself, too. I just get back from the lonesome road. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. Your father abandoned you? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I think this is kind of a alluring that, uh, he is the son of, you know, the the mysterious, you know, the you know the elusive, mysterious stranger who, you know, like because, you know who can, you know, like who can basically like, uh, who can appear in vats if you have the perk. If you have the mysterious stranger perk, you know, there's this guy with the trench coat and, uh, you know, forty four magnum who can occasionally appear and basically like help you out in a fight and then you know and then as and then as quickly as he has appeared then he kind of disappears again so you don't so you never you never actually get to like interact with the mysterious stranger but sometimes he comes and helps you and so this is kind of alluding that you know this guy is uh he might be the son of this mysterious stranger well, sounds like you miss him. Is that why you're out here wondering? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. Hmm. Must have been hard growing up without... Well, you know what? I think you're better off without him. You became your own man outside his shadow. I suppose there's that. But a man ought to know his own part. 
and a woman oughtn't to have to work herself to an early grave to provide for her family. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. Oh, sounds like a scumbag. I think you should make him pay. Maybe I will. Or maybe I'll just ask him why he left. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Yeah, he's probably dead anyways. He should just get a life. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, Tommy Torini at the Tops is looking for musical acts. That is, if you're interested. Hmm. Maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. Well, just hold on there. Uh, I'm giving you a real opportunity here. I'm talking about the opportunity of a lifetime in one of the major casinos, one of the biggest casinos on the strip. So, how about some form of compensation? I suppose it's only right you get a little something for your troubles. Here, my daddy left me this gun. Guess I don't need it no more. And we get the mysterious Magnum, which is the unique variant of the forty-four Magnum, and it's it's good. It's a good gun. It's a good solid gun, and especially if you go for like a, a cowboy build, it's like just perfect. It's gonna be just perfect for you. Hmm. Now I'm not sure. Did I leave Veronica to lucky uh, the 188, or did I tell tell her to go to what you might call it the the the, the uh, lucky 38? If she's here, I'm gonna ask her to at least temporarily accompany me. Yeah, she's here. Good. <laughs> Veronica, help! I lost my pants! Will you help me find my pants? What's up? Somebody stole my pants. I think we should travel together and try to find me a pair of pants. Let's go make trouble. Yep. See you around. Nice. Cut. Hi. Uh, you wouldn't happen to sell pants, would you? No, I suppose you wouldn't. Oh, yeah. I probably could have taken some uh, gold with me as well. I've still got guns and ammo if you need them. Um, show me what you got. Sure. No problem. Gotta try to find a ripper to combat helmet reinforced. Nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy an expensive combat armor to fix my other expensive armor like because all I really need is like just some whatever you know whatever cheap like medium grade armor. Just like the cheapest possible medium grade armor would be sufficient. Still making a nuisance of yourself. Have you finally got anything useful for sale? Take a look. Well, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. What? Right. You don't even have a ripper? Oh, is this, oh this is medium. Haha. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to buy this back from you. I'm gonna buy this back from you. Hmm. Service rifle. Oh, central blood. I do have central blood with me. Yeah. Let's see. He does have some mini nades. 
books. Do I want to buy more of these? Yes, of course. Why not? Thanks. All right, yeah. Take at least all of this. Yeah, I have some centaur blood. You can have more of central blood. Centaur blood. And I've got loads of pre-war... <laughs> oh. Okay. Alright, so... Pre-war money. Let's see, he only has about 800 left. Let's see, 100 of these is like 900. Oh, I'd have like 45 of these. I'll keep exactly 200, yeah. Nice. Another satisfied customer. Indeed. Bye. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I had some Legion money, didn't I? Still making a nuisance of your. I should have plenty of Legion money as well, don't I? So let's see. Is it just like Legion Dinaris or like, is it an L under L? Legion Dinaris. Okay, a hundred would be a four hundred of. I'll sell like a hundred and two of these for you. Yeah. Nice. Another satisfied customer. Indeed. Right. So, fix with nice. Good. True mortal, yeah. Well, I did so I did like do a little bit of like searching on the internet and I did see that there are some number of mods for basically removing the level cap or at least like extending it. Now I did kind of have at least like half a mind to you know to get one of those. But then again, you know, it's a, oh, you know what? I know this doesn't do anything practical, but look cool. And a bandana too. Oh yeah, bandana, aviator glasses, and an absolute banger of an armor, you know. And a cool ranger armor. Yeah, you know, I just realized, I don't think I ever actually went to the, there should be an NCR hideout here, or did I? Do I have it on my map? Yeah, I haven't even discovered the place yet, so okay. Let's go to the ranger hideout. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move the marker to point to the ranger hideout, yeah. Yeah, but something that we got because, well, you know, when you're when you are at least light 
by the LCR, they will already give you access to this safe house. This is also like a place where you can get like nice stuff like you know like an assault carbide you can get one from here oh surplus ammo for that you can get you can get a trail carbine now granted they're not in good condition yes but Obviously, taking something like this and applying a couple of weapon repair kits, and they're going to be, you know, as good as new. Hunting revolver, again, not in good condition, but, you know, but, you know, you can get one for free here, and then just, you know, apply some weapon repair kits. And see our ranger armor, ranger patrol armor. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a clean water on my well, you know. Place where you can sleep. Yeah. Not bad. Well, let's just hope we don't run into like death laws or something. So I'm just trying to find a way. Yeah, that's that's Camp McCarran and that there is a place here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there's going to be some fire ants in here. This little barn. And mount. Yeah. Fire and nectar sauce. Oh, there would be. I do recall there's the fire and queens there. Bench. Yeah, I want just hmm. no, look. These guys are probably gonna wreck my armor, so.
Yeah, armor isn't very valuable. May I suggest to you where you can shovel your plasma rifle? Abandoned warehouse. Can we now go here? Yeah. What? Are they gonna reenact their fight in here? <laughs> yeah. Because this is the place where we uh What do you need? <laughs> what do you need? I mean Because when we were working for the Van Graffs, and there was that big deal going on. Any, uh... No, okay, no. Ten cans. Well, not any. Well, there are NCR troopers here, but <laughs> unfortunately, they are alive and well. <laughs> I mean, it's un. I mean, I mean, I'm saying that unfort. I'm saying unfortunately because, well. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm saying unfortunately because, you know, because I, I would kind of need their armor to fix my own. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when they have those little conflicts and all, Sometimes the fiends actually manage to take down some NCR troopers, and obviously then you can have... Yeah. Now, I don't think I've been here. And again... Suspiciously quiet. Oh, there was a more. Okay. Actually, I don't think it was actually this building that has the the skill book, probably. Was it?
that's enough of that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we don't have to hide from, you know, like, uh, rat roaches or, <laughs> or giant ants or anything. So maybe, maybe it's better if I just keep the light on. So it's easier to kind of, you know, investigate this place. Okay, yeah, we oof. Uh, let's see this. Allied technologies. I think this this building has a I think pretty sure this building is the one that, that is supposed to have the one of the skill books. Where's the entrance? Even though, of course, <laughs> we can't actually now get our barter skill to 100 anymore. Because there aren't any enough skill books left. Wait. Is this not... Oh, you know what? It was referring to the other building. Okay. So this is just basically, for all intents and purposes, this building is just decoration. It's this building. Right? Or that one? And maybe it's this one. I think there's a door over here. All right. Think and think and think so. Some success for the bottles empty. Thank you very much. Couple of unused ones. Nose is itching. Ant meat, even though ant meat is kind of pointless actually. Because you know, if you eat, I mean, yes. It works as a food, but if you eat it, it will give you a debuff to your strength, so. Broken terminal, okay. I mean, yes, of course, like, you know, like, if your character is desperate, you know, you're getting too hungry. Then, of course, it's better than nothing. Obviously, it's better than nothing. But, you know, well, but, you know, it will, it will make you weaker.
Well, you don't really need two of those because, I mean, the only reason why you might want to have more than one coffee pot is if you want to, basically, if you want to, for some reason, mass produce coffee, because, of course, when you use a campfire to make, you know, make coffee, you know, you do need one, basically, for each coffee dose that you want to make, you do need one coffee pot. So, because otherwise you're going to have to make them like one by one. So, but if you want to make them, let's say, five, five like coffees at a time, you need five coffee pots. <laughs> so, and of course the coffee pot as an item, you know, it is reusable. But one coffee pot can only make one, let's say, unit of coffee at the time there should be a skill box there tales of a jerky town junk vendor of course in this game you know if you are wise and kind of forward thinking then you're probably you're not gonna be Let's say you're not going to start using the skill books until maybe you reach, let's, maybe you reach, let's say, like a skill of like around 80. Because at least then you can kind of make sure that, you know, you, you will have enough skill books that, or, you know, like you can, you can acquire enough skill books to push that skill all the way to 100, you know. But, you know, but, you know, these are just, but this is kind of the kind of, a, let's say, like, power gaming that, I mean, I'm not really that big fan of power gaming. I prefer, I prefer to just play a game as it is and enjoy it. And of course, like if you're planning to take the the comprehension perk, then it's especially kind of useful to first just wait until you get the perk before starting to use. You know. Well, that's good. Well, well, I'm not going to say good because you know. There is now an NCR person who obviously, you know, met a bad end. This is in good condition now. Oh, gain karma. Gain fiends. Good messiah. Ah. So at least for a little while we're still neutral. But now just because we are killing, you know, bad people. Once again, killing like bad people, so now the game thinks that we're a good person. Caravan shotgun, yeah. Yeah, one good caravan shotgun. 
one better service rifle, yeah. So maybe I should just let the Veronica do the killing, but anyway. Ah. I guess, I guess we're destined to be a good person. These fiends, they're not very strong, but they do use powerful weapons like plasma rifles and such, so they can kind of uh, wreck your armor pretty quickly. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Yeah, you can have things like that. And this crafting materials. Oh. Oh, well, I'll give you ten of these. I'm keeping one mug just in case. If I want to make coffee anytime. Hey, I can't really move now, but I'll follow you in spirit. Oh, she's kind of full already. All right. Right. Well, they lost that mission to kill Motor Runner and Double back. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we'll spend the night here. Sure. Sunset's a sparilla. Oh, okay, well, at least sleep two hours until morning. Hmm, maybe I'll wait until I have a companion with me, so. Before we go to, because when we go to fiend territory, there's going to be a lot of fiends, obviously. And when you take care of them, you're obviously getting a lot of, you know, money. I mean, you get a lot of equipment from there. Okay, yeah, sneak is 100, so. Probably sell our weapons to the gun runners here, the one that we already picked up. Let's see, there's going to be a crack on the wall here.
Welcome, sir. Or... Oh, wait. Forgot. I forgot. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Well, mainly sell these guns there, you know. Welcome, sir or madam. Oh, by the way, does he have a ripper? Good. Why he has a ripper? Because we have we have modifications for. Let's see. Grenade machine gun. Oh, but you know what? I think we have a grenade machine gun. In. We should have a hunting rifle too. The border ripper. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Selling the caravan shotgun. These frag grenades. Laser rifle, plasma rifle, yeah, service rifle, yeah. Getting at least a little bit of money back. Let's see, we have a hunting rifle, custom action, scope. This would be hunting rifle, extended magazines, so. Case box. Primers. Well, large pistol, large rifle. Small pistol, small rifle, on you. Mm, yeah. Spending money here, but. See us again soon. Can I make anything here? A little bit of 5 mil rounds. Okay. Oh yeah, what do you need for 5 mil rounds? Okay, 5 mil casings, obviously. Lead. Rifle powder. Add small rifle primers. Okay, so especially I'm gonna I think I'm gonna need some some lead break down yeah for some five five sixes I'll break down those so I have okay I have nine millimeter rounds I can break those 20 gauge shotgun shells well it's pistol powder right i think you need rifle powder yeah you need rifle powder so i mean okay well maybe it doesn't really Oh, but you do get the lead, right? So, make some. Okay, I was able to make 113 like rounds of ammo for my minigun. Oh yeah, I have a ripper. And I can modify it with HD chain and carbide teeth.
Yeah. Um, yeah, I can use a machete to fix that. Well, preset thug. Stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Hmm. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. All right. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Uh, we're gonna sell all. We're gonna send all this stuff to. Oh, I could have. Uh... Okay, ship to Novak. So all these uh, crafting materials. Yeah, if it can be bought, it can be found at Mick. Yep, that goes to <sighs> make a brief stop at the atomic factory. Good day. Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Whoa, why the hostility? Watch your mouth, ghoul, or rip out to... I might just rip your jaw off. Whoa, Nelly. There is insult comedy, and then there's psycho comedy. I guess you aren't the heckler Garrett hired to spice up my show. What do you want? So, who are you exactly? Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Adrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. So you perform stand-up comedy, huh? Eesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Judging from the economic state of free sites, I can't be paying you that much. Oh, sure. I bet you're raking in cash in this dump. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rolling in caps here, but what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Well, as it so happens, Tommy Torini is hiding you acts at the tops. I think you could make good money. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. I could talk to the Garrett and try to convince him to let you go. Huh, <laughs> good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. 
He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. All right. But I don't, yeah, so. It's not exactly here yet, uh, James. Good day. Um. Huh? I think he's coming downstairs because his the the marker is moving clearly. Okay, she's going away. Okay, so I guess James is taking the ship this time. I hear the Legion is camping out across the river. I hope they're not planning to attack. Those bloodthirsty mole rats are never up to any good. I would like to get Hadrian out of his contract. Now why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. But how much are, but how much do you lose on folks not coming into a place with a ghoul performer? I admit, that thought had crossed my mind. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'd do better with a human act. Exactly. It's all yours. Good. Talk to you later. It's uh, great to be up here, looking down at all your smiling faces. That won't last long. Look at you. You look like a How's talent scout for a cemetery. Was that suit made to order? It was. And where were you at the time? Somebody told me the other day you were bright. I wasn't sure if you meant smart or radioactive. My friend, you've got style, grace, and charm. The style of a feral ghoul, the grace of a super mutant, and the charm of a death claw. A winning combination. This guy's so sharp-eyed, he cuts himself every time he blinks. Buddy, you look tough enough to drink a pint of glowing water. Why don't you do us all a favor and try it? And talk about your quick reflexes. This gal is so fast, she beat me to the punchline. Oh. The more I think of you, the less I think of you. And talk about your quick reflexes. This guy is so fast, he beat me to the punchline. You know, some people have all the luck. Some people, not you. Oh. If you had your life to live over again, let me make a suggestion. Play in traffic. Hey, look at this guy. I didn't know they let Brahmin into this joint. Bye. Seems like to be building up on your side of the danger. Yes, he was kind of speed running his act. Any luck with Garrett yet? Yeah, Garrett's agreed to let you go out of your contract. You don't go to work at the tops. Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? Yep. It's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep. Now granted, again, <laughs> since we already maxed out our level, no, we're not exactly, get, we're not getting any XP for now doing this quest. But normally you would get a nice little chunk of XP, you know. But when you're, you know, when you reach the level cap, you have reached the level cap and no longer XP, no longer le more extra levels, no, no more like extra skill points or perks but i'm just you know i'm doing it because i you know for the sake of completion basically don't mind me i'm just a crazy person Yeah, no.
What'd you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. Yeah, me too. I think we should part ways. Why does everyone always say that? Yeah, I do. We'll meet, meet, we'll meet up at Lucky 38, so just head in there. Nice! Can I order room service? Oh, absolutely. On me. Just put it on my tab. Well, let us go tell Tommy Tarini the good news that we have recruited some more acts for him. Ring it in, baby. Nice, Tommy. There you are. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Look, I know who you are. We have met. In fact, I'm the one you, I'm the one you asked to, you know, to recruit some new talents for you. Remember that little deal we made, Tommy? So, let's talk about that. The cowboy act, yeah. He dropped on mm -hmm. in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. 5% of the cut comes to 166 caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. Okay, let's talk about some more. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. Yeah. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. From the shot club. Here's your 5%, baby. You enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the act. Uh, that comedian, you mean? Yeah. He was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your 5%. Yeah, but he's a real motor mouth, you know? He's got to be quick firing those jokes like nobody's business. And let's, let's talk about the final one, the ghoul. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? <laughs> Take it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your five percent. Sounds great. You know it, baby. Take it easy, baby. Accepted. Yeah, we got even some positive reputation on in the strip. Well, I suppose I'm not getting into fights in here, so let's put on the armor that we have. Right. Now, since I think we're going to be working for Mr. House, we're going to go for kind of his uh, ending. Ugh. So, I think when we come back, we'll go and have a chat with Mr. House and we'll start kind of pushing this main quest forward. And I suppose we'll also recruit at least like R.K. Gannon to our team. And uh, I guess EDE, and, and of course, M and yeah, EDE as well, since, uh, you know, since EDE now has all those cool upgrades we got from, from the Divide. Anyway, this is enough for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time, and goodbye.